Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So I just wanted to post up a quick little comparison here between the Lumia 535 and the uh, Moto E 2015. Uh, and I just got my Lumia 535 back from Microsoft. Uh, they seem to have uh, replaced the unit, uh, which my first one was a bit dodgy in regards to the screen. Uh, and I don't think it's 100% uh, decent yet. I still think that uh, there's some issues with it. As you can see, uh, 9 times out of 10 it won't swipe down when I'm using it in one hand. Uh, but it does seem to have settled down the ghost touching and all the sorts of other stuff I was experiencing. So you should be able to get an okay experience with two hands now on the device. But uh, if we compare it against something like the Moto E, I think that Microsoft would sh do better to uh, you know, improve the supply when it comes to the low-end handsets going forward. Uh, but the Microsoft Lumia 535 does have quite a other uh, things to offer uh, apart from that, obviously. And it's useful to see what you're getting compared to the uh, Moto E, which is... Uh, a budget uh, device recently released by Motorola uh, and uh, I think uh, in terms of the build quality uh, we can see here both of them feel a bit different uh, with the uh, the Lumia seemingly uh, a little bit more plasticky feeling whereas the uh, plastic on the Moto feels a bit more solid particularly around the edges here uh, we have it's more rubbery, I'd say, so it's very uh, grippy. Whereas it's a bit slippy on the 535, uh, but uh, I do like the fact that the 535 is bigger. Obviously, uh, you get a much bigger display there, and uh, that does mean that you're going to get some uh, nice content on there. Uh, and the bezels on both of them are quite large as well. Uh, I think that they could improve in that particular aspect. Uh, but both of them have their stuff in the good uh, places, such as in the middle for the USB port. Uh, and uh, it's worthwhile mentioning you get a flash on the Lumia 535, which you don't on the Moto E. Uh, and also uh, the uh, whole of the phone kind of comes off uh, when you pull it like that. And uh, you have access to the removable battery which is very nice indeed and the nano sim uh, which uh, is pretty cool you also get micro SD expandability up to 128 gigs which is very nice indeed uh, this uh, little boy it uh, comes off a little bit differently uh, and uh, you can see here there's a little rubber and uh, you can pull that off and then get access to your SIM tray as well as a micro SD. Not sure if it supports up to 128 like the Lumia, but uh, it's pretty good that uh, both of them are supporting removable storage because uh, obviously a lot of high end phones are going away from that. But uh, in terms of the displays on both devices, uh, we can have a look at them as well. You can see here. We have a uh, QHD display on the Moto E, which is uh, not the highest quality in the world. It's uh, a 245 ppi uh, with uh, Gorilla Glass 3, and that's uh, covered with an oleophobic coating, apparently, uh, which should help prevent those nasty uh, fingerprint marks that we don't like. Uh, and uh, the Lumi, on the other hand, is uh, rocking a 220 ppi, so probably because it's a bigger display, uh, you're going to get slightly less ppi there with uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, but no oleophobic coating, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, it's uh, I'd say the displays on these two are serviceable. Uh, you know, I do like the fact that they both have the IPS uh, technology, so basically, you can see here quite good viewing angles on both of them uh, you know in terms of looking at them from different angles but uh, if you're coming from a higher resolution display you're definitely going to notice like a bit of choppy text every now and again uh, it's not going to look too pretty uh, in that respect but 
you know, serviceable nevertheless. I think that the Moto E uh, does uh, have an advantage though in terms of the screen, as I said, on the Lumia 535, which isn't that sensitive at the end of the day, whereas it's very sensitive and responsive on the uh, Moto E. And, uh, you know, I can use it with one hand without any issues, pinch to zoom, all very nice indeed. Uh, but uh, in terms of the other things which are important, such as the specifications package, the Lumi is coming with a Snapdragon 200 quad core, and that's at 1.2 GHz with an Adreno 302. So we're uh, quite uh, entry level there. And the uh, Moto E has bumped things up a bit from the Snapdragon 200 up to a uh, Snapdragon 410. Uh, that's a 64-bit uh, processor with an Adreno 306. So I think that in terms of the raw performance, you're going to find a little bit more snappy uh, happenings on the uh, Moto E. 64-bit uh, processor is very nice indeed in terms of uh, you know getting around the device uh, and uh, going into stuff. I have to say though, uh, I think that Windows Phone is still very uh, quick to do things and uh, even though you're not going to get quite the up-to-date specs as you get on Android you're going to find that the uh, performance is still very good nevertheless and uh, we can just uh, go to a website for example and have a look at uh, the performance so you can see there we are both on the uh, Daily Mail homepage and uh, have to say the display on the uh, Moto E looks a lot warmer than the one on the Lumia which looks a bit cooler uh, in terms of the temperature but you can see here how responsive the Moto E is uh, in comparison I'm pressing but it's not responding on the Lumia a lot of the time so and also you get quite a lot of page loading I've, I've noticed on the Lumia that's probably due to the Snapdragon 200 whereas you don't really get that that much on the Moto however it is good that uh, you can get more content on the Lumia as you can see if we go right to the top uh, you can see much more when you're right to the top and uh, makes for a little bit better viewing experience uh, both look uh, obviously as I said a bit blurry though because of the low uh, resolution display but uh, in terms of uh, your gaming uh, I have found that the Moto E struggles with anything but uh, kind of low end gaming with uh, everything on low settings and the same can be said of the Lumia 535 you're going to get away with your basic stuff but don't expect too much from these devices. Both of them are backed up with 1 gig of RAM for your multitasking and 8 gig internal storage so that will fill up very fast so you might want to invest in a micro SD. Uh, looking into specs a little bit the uh, Moto E only supports 32 gig micro SDs so just be aware of that. Uh, and uh, in terms of the cameras a bit different here as well we have a uh, flash on the back of the Lumia which is very nice indeed as well as the autofocus and uh, also uh, 5 megapixel which is uh, quite basic and it does support video at 480 by 30 frames per second and uh, it's also got a front facing camera uh, which is a selfie cam at 5 megapixel which is very nice indeed uh, you don't see that much on like uh, budget devices at this range but the Moto E is a little bit basic here uh, a little bit bumped up from the previous Moto E however, which is nice. Uh, we have a 5 megapixel uh, camera which supports autofocus, HDR, panorama, uh, as well as the uh, video at 720p at 30 frames per second, which is obviously better than the Lumia. Uh, as well as the front facing camera of VGA quality, which is uh, you know, uh, going to be a bit passable compared to the Lumia.
and uh, in terms of uh, the other stuff uh, like uh, your connectivity uh, both of them have 4G LTE which is very nice and uh, support the latest Bluetooth uh, with uh, GLONASS and uh, AGPS uh, so uh, you're not going to have too many issues when it comes to your orienteering and uh, I think uh, there's a difference when it comes to the battery uh, as I said uh, the battery is removable on the Lumia but uh, is a smaller capacity 1900 5 mAh versus a bigger capacity on the Moto E which is uh, 2390 so uh, strengths and weaknesses there you know we do prefer a removable battery versus a big one personally uh, I like uh, it to be big and removable but uh, this should get you for a day no problems as well as this if you uh, you know, uh, don't uh, hammer them with hardcore gaming. So I think the Moto would be better for people who like to use their phone with one hand and uh, just want an entry level uh, experience. As well as it runs the latest Lollipop operating system, which uh, has a more mature kind of app ecosystem. But I think Windows 10 will be coming out on the Lumia 535, so that should improve things quite substantially. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did hit the like button or subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.